Mr. P's Science and Math Podcasts. For more science and math concepts, search me out on iTunes by typing Papa Podcasts. You can contact me at Mr. P. Lieberman at gmail.com. Thank you for watching. Find the shortest distance from the point A, which is at negative 1 and 3, to the line x plus y minus 5 equals 0. Now, one of the first steps that I usually recommend my students doing is drawing some kind of a diagram. And what we have here is we have a line which is designated with the formula x plus y minus 5 equals 0. It doesn't need to be accurate, we're just drawing in a sketch. Now, from here, we need to plot some kind of a point. And that point okay, will be just some random point. point, or point a. What we're trying to find is the length of this point, and, but not just any length, but we're looking for the shortest distance from that point to that line. And whenever we have that, so here we have our sketch, and what we're trying to do is we're trying to recreate a new equation. So step number one is to find the slope of our new line. So we find the slope of our new line, but we need to figure out the slope of our original line. And one of the reasons for that is because if we think about the word shortest distance from any point to another line, we are looking at something that we call perpendicular. And the word perpendicular when we're talking about slopes, the one thing that should come to mind is perpendicular slopes. So we want to find out the slope of our original line. And then we want to find the slope of our shortest line. So my advice to my students is to rearrange your equation in the form where we can extract that slope. And what we do is we want our equation in the form of y is equal to mx plus b. When we write our equation in this format, we know that this m value represents our slope. So if we have the equation x plus y minus 5 equals 0, what we are trying to do is we want to isolate for y in our equation. We want to keep y on one side of the equal sign. We want to bring all the other terms to the other side of the equal sign. So we're going to keep this y. Here's our equal sign. We're going to be moving this x over. And notice how it's positive x. So if we bring it over to the other side, it becomes negative x. We're going to bring this negative 5 over the equal sign, and it becomes positive 5. So in other words, this equation that we started off with can now be rewritten. Instead of x plus y minus 5 equals 0, we can rewrite that as y is equal to negative x plus 5. Now, from this equation, we can extract our slope, and as we said, the slope of our original line is the value that is in front of x. And the value right now in front of x is really an imaginary negative 1. So the slope of this line is equal to negative 1. And in terms of perpendicular, whenever we have a perpendicular slope, so this line is going to have a slope that is perpendicular to this equation to this original equation, what we started with. So to find the perpendicular slope, we know that we do something called a negative reciprocal. So if the slope of one equation is negative 1, the reciprocal, and, and negative 1 really means negative 1 over 1, the reciprocal of negative 1 over 1 is 1 over negative 1. But we haven't yet implemented, we've just done the reciprocal. We have not implemented the negative. So this negative, now, added to here, brings two negatives to create a positive 1 
to being our slope. So the slope of our perpendicular line here is going to be positive 1. So now, what we know about this equation is, well, if we think about the terms here, y is equal to mx plus b, what we do know from this shortest point is the slope. And that slope is y is equal to 1x plus b. So the only other bit of information, remember there are two things that is common in every single line. One is the slope. The second thing is the y-intercept. And that y-intercept is what we call here this b value. So that's what we need to find for our new equation. Because what we're trying to do is we're trying to find now, which is now um, step number two, we are trying to find the new equation of the shortest distance. Okay? In order to do that, we need to look at the information that we're given. Well, we know the slope. We know the slope of our new line is going to give us the equation y is equal to, let's say, 1x plus b. We need to find our b value. But now, what information about this line here, the shortest distance, do we know to help us solve or find out what the actual equation is? Well, if we look back at our question, all we know is that point A has a negative 1 and a 3. Here is our x, here is our y. And what we have here is, in any line, a line is really made up of a whole bunch of tiny little points. I like to, to think of it that way. I like to think of a line as really a whole bunch of points that are drawn so close together that gives you the impression of a line. So what we have here in every part of this line, we have different x and y values. And what we have here, we know actually one x value. So if we were to extend this line, which we don't really need it, right? that's going to represent our equation of our line. But from our line, what information do we know? We know the slope because it is perpendicular. And we know that a perpendicular slope, how do we find that? Well, we know, as long as we know the slope of our original line, we find the negative reciprocal of that slope. And we got 1. So now, what points do we know? We know our y value is 3. We know our x value here is negative 1. So what it's going to help us do is help us find our y-intercept. So we have 3 equals 1 times negative 1, which will give me negative 1, plus b. We want to isolate for b, keep b on one side.